And we're back with the finishing results of the shopping cart challenge. So I wasn't shopping the entire two hours, but mostly. And this is the Samsung Active 2. You can see it has my heart rate on there. For some reason it's not showing up right now. And then it also has uh, calories, time, average pace, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna click finish. Now this is a lot easier when I just take off the watch. There we go. And finish workout. And what we have here, treadmill, two hours, beautiful little graph, heart rate zones, all that fun stuff. You know, this is probably better when I have it in color. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, so now we have to go back to Samsung. And this week, view log, treadmill. So we have treadmill, we have miles per hour, that gorgeous graph, heart rate zones, all that information that you'd expect from Samsung and the steps. 2033. So now we'll go to contestant number two. This one right here. Now this is actually a, a good shot because you can see how nice the watch looks with the dress shirt. So you notice on this one sleeve nicely fits over the dress watch. And it's kind of cool if you can see that it really glows. Here let me put the sleeve over that. You can see how it just kind of glows right there underneath the sleeve. Uh, that little LCD screen is really bright. So that's kind of cool, I like that. Now we'll just take off the Withings Steel HR Sport. So when you're in the other workout, you can see the time. You can see your heart rate. You can see miles and minutes. So this one, for some reason, did a lot farther, 2.7 miles. And then we do a long press, and then you can resume or stop. You did it! Aw, oh, thanks, Withings. You did it! Okay, and then it gives you a quick review of the workout, and that's it. And then you have to go to the app. So let's go to the app and see what we see from our shopping cart challenge, the Samsung Active 2 against the Withings Steel HR Sport. Dun dun dun. I don't know, I just, the shopping cart challenge. I just thought it'd be fun. Okay, let's go. And here we are looking at the stats with the Samsung Active 2. And this was the treadmill workout I used for the shopping cart challenge. There's the treadmill workout, so we can see. And again, yeah, I wasn't shopping the entire two hours, but I just want to compare the calculation and step data between both devices. So 2033, heart rate, 85 average, 15 beats, steps per minute cadence, all that fun stuff. Went grocery shopping. And now we'll go back to Withings. And this was on the third. Indoor walking. And it doesn't tell us the steps, but during that two hour workout, we have heart rate, heart zone, heart rate zone information and notes when grocery shopping. So that's about it. So now we'll run some stats and see which one did better as far as counting the steps while shopping. Did some more math. Yeah, who knew um, doing YouTube uh, videos and uh, reviews took so much math. So thank you math teachers. 
So this is wrapping up our Whiting's versus Samsung V shopping cart challenge. And before shopping, we were at 5,702 for the Active 2 smartwatch. And for the Withings, we were at 4,313. And then after, 7,974 compared to 5,764. Then we ran the difference, 951. So, while shopping, this was able to count almost 1,000 more steps over Withings. Hmm, I think we're going to have to do some more shopping. I have to go to the grocery store today, so we'll see what we can do here. Oh, I just got the lazy notification. Oh, don't you hate that? Now, that's one thing that uh, Withings doesn't do. It doesn't bug you like, hey, you've been sedentary for three hours while working at the keyboard. Yeah, it doesn't let you know that. And you can see the step count is differing on today's test as well, 4,549, 3,112. Very different watches, very different step counts. Which one do I recommend? Ooh, it's a tough choice. This one. Sorry, sorry, Withings, but hey, I'll let you make your choice after watching this video. And that is the shopping cart challenge for March 2020. Well, if you have any pithy comments, write them in the comments below. Don't be shy. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll be posting more content very soon. I was trying to do one video today. Uh, well, I work full time, so that doesn't quite go with my schedule. Uh, I shoot these videos on break or in the evening. There happens to be better lighting right now. If you've seen the videos at night, they come out very yellow. So I'm using this natural light by the window here. Yeah. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.